Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement gravity in Allegro with C++ by simulati simulating a ball bouncing. So, the first thing you have to do is to include math. Then as usual I have a bitmap called buffer. I have an X and Y float. Those will hold the position of the ball. I have velocity X and velocity Y. Those will hold the X and Y components of the velocity of the ball. Then I have acceleration which I've initialized to 9.8. Notice it is not negative 9.8 because in Allegro as you go down the screen the numbers increase so if you want the ball to go down it has to be positive 9.8. Then I have a change in time then I have the mass of the ball then I have mass of the earth. Then I have a function called setup. This will create my ball and the earth. For the ball, I'm just going to use a circle and I'm going to put it at position X and Y. For the earth, I'm just going to use a line and I'm going to put it at those coordinates. Then I have a, another function called update velocity and position. Like the name says, it's going to update the velocity and the position. If you know your kinematic formula, you know that final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times the change in time. For the position, the formula is final position equals initial position plus initial velocity times the change in time plus one half acceleration times the change in time squared. This is what I have here. Now notice that um, there's a portion missing in the for the x position. This is because in the x direction there is no acceleration. The acceleration is zero. So this portion here that you see in the y and the x it will be zero so that's why I don't have it. In the y direction the acceleration is 9.8 so that's why I have the portion here and then I rest for 5 milliseconds. Then I have another function called collision. This will detect whether the ball has hit the earth or not. So now my ball has a radius of 10. So by doing y plus 10 I am on the rim of the ball and the y position of the earth is at 400. So essentially I'm saying if the ball hits the earth um, velocity should equal this. Now this is a um, collision formula which the full version is here. It says the velocity, the final velocity of the first object equals the initial velocity of the first object times the mass of the first object minus the mass of the second object plus 2 times the mass of the second object times the initial velocity of the second object divided by mass of the first object plus mass of the second object. In this case the second object is the earth so the initial velocity of the earth is 0 so this portion here is 0 so I'm not going to include it in my formula. So this is what I have here. Then I have my main. These are all typical things you would put in uh, any Allegro program. Here I create my buffer. This is my, my my this is my while loop. Then I call all the function. Then I draw the buffer to the screen and then I clear the buffer. And that is essentially the whole program. So if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. And don't forget to check out my other videos. And if you like them, you can like them and subscribe.